towards my foot, and we're here in the Garden District. We are going to show you around this historic neighborhood of New Orleans and share a few tips on what to see. The Garden District of New Orleans is where the Americans moved to when they arrived to this newly purchased former French city. They thought the French Quarter was small and dirty and full of, well, the French. The result is one of New Orleans' most desired neighborhoods and one of the nation's most beautifully preserved city districts. It's home to the rich, the famous, the strange, and the dead. Depending on where you're coming from and going to exactly, the Garden District is about two to three miles from the French Quarter. There are buses that service the area, but we recommend taking a ride on the St. Charles Streetcar. If you're mainly interested in the shopping and dining magazine street, the number 11 city bus runs the entire length of the street, from the edge of the French Quarter all the way to the Audubon Zoo. We often focus on just about six blocks that encompass the Garden District to look at mid 19th century homes and tell stories of their past and sometime present residents. The owners of these antebellum homes take great pride and you'll find beautiful views even from the street since most of the homes aren't usually open to the public. You'll want to look for large windows that take advantage of cross breezes on hot New Orleans summer days raised basements due to the too often floods, and hate blue ceilings on the front porches. And the wrought iron fences are some of the most photographed parts of the neighborhood. Fans of pop culture and modern celebs can keep an eye out for Eli or Peyton Manning, John Goodman, Sandra Bullock, amongst others. And a popular stop is the former home of Anne Rice, whose interview with a vampire and other novels focus on New Orleans culture. There are a lot of ways to explore the Garden District, and our top suggestion is to take a walking tour with free tours by foot. Our two-hour walking tour is not just mansions and manicured gardens, but stories of legend, tragedy, epidemics, lost causes, movie stars, and celebrity chefs. In addition to seeing the city of 19th century villas, you'll also see a city of the dead with a journey through Lafayette Cemetery No. 1, a municipal cemetery, so it's not part of a church that dates back to 1833. The Garden District is also known for shopping, with the famous Magazine Street boasting locally made artisan crafts, vintage stores, and antiques. These offbeat boutiques even feature a green light district, where you'll find a number of eco-friendly items. It's a very walkable area, and you can literally spend days window shopping here. But since it's much more affordable than Royal Street, you might want to get some shopping done here on Magazine Street. You'll also find a number of delicious NOLA treats, coffees, and restaurants. Here is Commander's Palace, one of the most recommended places to sample classic Creole cuisine. Considered one of the best restaurants in the country, and just so you know, the dress code is enforced. One of their calling cards is the 25 cent martinis that they sell during weekday lunch. They are also the inventors of the Jazz Brunch, which they still hold every weekend. If you're looking to explore on your own, we offer a self-guided garden district tour and a GPS-enabled walking tour. Here's a sample of one of the stops. This is the home of former New Orleans Saints quarterback Archie Manning, as well as the childhood home of his sons Peyton, Eli, and Cooper Manning. Look in the description below for the links. Since you won't find museums or historic homes that you can go inside, or even informational plaques, the draw of the Garden District really is those Instagrammable views and a sense of being transported back in time. But to get a real sense of the neighborhood, or to entertain the kids and sometimes adults who need stories to go along with the stately views, this really is a place to see with an expert local guide. Check out our blog post linked below for all the things to do, drink, and eat in the Garden District, as well as how to book your guided walking tour with us. The tour runs almost every day, so it should fit into your schedule. On our website, you'll find all our insider tips on visiting the French Quarter, things to do in New Orleans at night, and more information on tours of other sites, such as St. Louis Cemetery and specialty tours, focusing on New Orleans ghosts, local music and arts, voodoo, and a French Quarter culinary history and food tour. Like our video and comment below with what you like most about the Garden District. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch our other videos about New Orleans and other cities.